Hey guys, still here, welcome to episode 10 of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Unfortunately, it'll be the last episode of this game on my channel, at least for now. The channel started, or rather the game on the channel, started off with a lot of views, and I thought, okay, great, I have a good new series, I like the game, you guys like the game, uh, YouTube likes the game as well, and having views and such seems to be a really big boon to benefit, or bene <laughs> A really big benefit to getting more views and the first episode did great 18,000 views which um, is almost a fourth of my channel so very very nice then the views started to get cut in half which is usual because the views just drop to uh, people who want to keep following the series as opposed to the first episode on any game which usually draws in a lot of people because they're curious about what the hell this is and then the views started to get lower and lower and lower and lower still to the point where the last video published a week ago only got three and a half thousand views which cuts it to under the five percent limit that I have for uh, sorry the ten percent limit that I have for a video tolerance now by that I mean that if I have a video I wanted to get ten percent of the number of subscribers that I have so it's in this case at least six and a half thousand views and the game is just struggling for five videos in a row to make that happen, and the views keep dropping. So, unfortunately, this will be the last episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Because, um, and I have covered this in videos before, while people might say, just play what you like, and the followers and the views will come, unfortunately, that's not how it works in the real world. Because I have to make a living with this. And that means that videos with few views just don't contribute to that and they may in fact be harming my channel. So I have to make hard choices, and that means that the Flame of Algiers is going to be the last mission that I do in this campaign and for this game on my channel as a whole. After your triumph in Tripoli, a peace treaty that would end the piracy was signed by all the Barbary states but Algiers. Their fleet, led by the flagship Mashuda, continues their raids terrorizing the southern Spanish coast and the west Mediterranean waters. Sail to the area track Mashuda and the Algerian fleet and destroy their fleet to the last ship. We must deal with the Algerian flame the soonest, before it spreads to the other Barbary states and provokes a new circle of piracy. Now it looks like they have a ton of ships. Um, I can bring 12 ships on this one as well. Unfortunately I don't have that many. Uh, well, I, I'm going to get close to it if I start counting troop ships, but I don't need those. What I will do is equip my ships to do uh, the best at long ranges. So let's go with, um, I think the 24 pounders on this thing are the best. And that's, well, the 24 pounders on this ship are best if you're not counting uh, carronades. I just wanna have long range accuracy. Oh here, I need to upgrade them to the Bogart's guns. Bogart's long guns. Chesapeake, I hope I have enough of these guns in store. Overloaded. Oh crap, the ship's too heavy. Um, considering that this is going to be uh, an important weapon to take, let's upgrade it to make sure that I have lightweight gun carriages. And then I should be able to fit, there we go, the Borgard's long guns. New Amsterdam already has the 18 pounder long guns. I'm not sure if she's big enough to field. No, unfortunately not. Fourth rate ship of the line, but the 24 pounder guns that I can field are not the ones that I'm looking for. And I don't want to field carronades. Constitution, long guns, Constellation, Armstrong guns, hold on. Borgart long guns. We're going to be taking these guys on from long range and hoping to do as much damage before they can get close. Currently I'm packing 18 pounders with a range of 1400 yards. These have an 1150 yards. So not as good. Short range carronades, in case I need to go shotgun on them. Uh, that is the New York. We get the Anthony with the six pounders. Hmm. This is a frigate, so it is more versatile. It's it's faster. It could swoop in and just deliver a shotgun blast. So let's pack carronades on this one. Upgrade that. How big can the guns get here? 24 pounder, I'll take it. 
there. Okay, the Essex, carronades loaded, Enterprise, carronades loaded, but we can go bigger than that. We can go to 24 inches. I'm oh, sorry, 24 pounders and 18 pounders over there. This does slow them down somewhat, but it should still be workable. Trenton and Arctic, my troop ships, will not be involved in this fleet action. As for upgrades, the New York could still use a few. She doesn't seem to be fully equipped yet. So let's go for, considering her long range, uh, better accuracy. Better spread is what I already have equipped. Um, lightweight. I don't think I need that because I currently have quite a lot of uh, displacement to spare. So maybe instead of that, go for a uh, repair system. Was that others? Yes, structure repair kit. That's what I want. I want to be able to fix this thing on the fly. Let's see, starting with the lead ships, the new Amsterdam. I need a repair kit. Ah, ship's too heavy. Not by that much, but still by enough. If I reduce the crew, it should be feasible. I'm not planning on boarding anybody, so I think I can get away with that. We got a repair kit here. The frigate over here is also going to need a repair kit. She is now too heavy. Can I still fit uh, the light gun tackle? Oh shit, she already has that. Hmm. What can I do to make this thing lighter? Not that much, I think. In that case, maybe just give her double hull frames for better armor. Ah, still too heavy. Okay, never mind. Constellation. She has her repair. No, she has her double hull frames. And she has her unified gun carriages. The New York. New York is starting to get pretty close to maximum weight. Double hull frames would push her over the edge. There's nothing I can do to counter that. All right, so that's it. this is what we're going to be using. Sail into the area, track the Mashuda, and destroy the entire fleet. Now, the plan is to have my longer range ships engage first. So that's the Chesapeake, Constitution, Constellation, and I think the New York. And then have the Anthony, the Essex, and the Enterprise as short range uh, come in later. I first want these to bloody their noses, and then when these things have been uh, well, at least a little bruised, I can send in the, the carronade frigates and just smash them. There are empty, empty mandatory slots. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to transfer one ship there. Uh, let's have it led by the New York, Anthony, Essex, Enterprise. Admiral, the enemy fleet is sighted. Oh, they're starting this close together. All right. There's the Mashuda. Sailing in the middle, surrounded by several warships. They've already started attacking maneuvers. Okay. Our search is over, Admiral. We're awaiting your orders to commence the attack. Godspeed. Understood. Um, much to my surprise, these things are not aligned yet. So I want you to follow that, I want you to follow this. Constitution to follow that one, and you to follow that one. And then we got New York, followed by Anthony, followed by Essex, followed by Enterprise. We do not seem to have a favorable wind for this encounter, at least not yet. Are you guys to... Uh, I'll turn against the wind. It's going to slow you down, but that's kind of what I need. I need you to be slow. Now, the Mashuda, what sort of ship are you then? A second-rate Barfleur-class ship of the line. Impressive warship. 90 guns. Damn. Probably impressive amount of uh, firepower. I just hope that we're going to be capable of killing it off. 
Look at that thing. That is one serious warship. I take a screenshot. There we are. Okay then. Bring it in, gentlemen. Of course, this is not the only ship that they have, but it is their most powerful ship. The rest are 280s. What is this? Fifth rates and Dimian frigates. Fourth rate ship of the line. Fifth rate frigates. Fourth rate ship of the line. Okay. Considering wind, would it be favorable if I turn hard to starboard? I suppose it would. Full sails, please. Because it would push the ship over to starboard, and thereby increasing my range. Alright. How about you guys? Oh, fuck. You're in the middle of the formation. Oh, no. Just stop. This is already turning into a big mess. Essex turn out. Enterprise follow Essex. I need to reform my formation. Just hope that none of these crashes are going to lead to some uh, loss of sail. Here we are. Alright, starboard turn. You're waiting for your group. Yeah, well, you and me both. Because at this rate, it's not really working out the way that I hoped it would. Come on. What group are you waiting for? Move. Are you waiting for the constellation? Right. Don't do that. Move. And open fire. There we are. That was a substantially damaging salvo to the uh, frigate over there. Starboard side took a beating. Excellent. Now, if I'm right, then these ships are also using the wind to their advantage, but they're being pushed over to starboard, so their guns on the starboard side are depressed, which means that the starboard guns can't fire at me. I hope to keep the situation as is, so that I can continue to badger them without being, well, shot at in return. And the objective is to sink every last one of them. If it is possible for me to capture their lead ship, their flagship, the Mashuda, I will do so. But I think it is not really of any benefit. If I would continue the campaign, sure. But currently, not so much. Alright, the Chesapeake is also getting involved. Unfortunately, seeming to miss most of their shells. Shots. That's the Gazat. Frontal engagement against the Chengaver. Go. I wonder when the Mashuda is going to get involved. There she comes. There she comes. Alright, Essex that way. Uh, New York that way. Wind change to the north. Okay. I'm considering starting to hit their sails just to thin their numbers a little bit. Spread the formation out. And that way, control the encounter. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Because I can just blow a couple of holes in this ship and see if I can sink her early. That'd be great. Chesapeake, move if you will. You're waiting for the rest of your formation, that's the problem. Alright, new deal. New Amsterdam, single formation. Constitution with her. Constellation. We're going to make two separate lines. Hit him. 
Waiting for the group. Yeah, don't do that. Hit them in their starboard side. Two ships moderately damaged. But we're just getting started. There we are. United States taking absolutely no bullshit from this uh, Algerian ship. Look at that. Like they're barely damaging me. Ah, the Mashuda is now taking fire. Excellent. Here comes another broadside salvo. This thing is having a rough time. I'm surprised it's not going into artillery shock yet. I was kind of expecting that it would. Uh, Essex, follow the New York in, if you will. Anthony. What kind of ship are you again? Fifth rate unity. Okay, you're a frigate. Go there. Port side of the United States has taken some damage, but not nearly as much as these guys have. Target this one. Focus fire. If we can eliminate some guns on this frigate, let's do it. Unfortunately, the Mashuda might have an opinion on that. She's probably not going to take kindly to me just trying to do damage with impunity against the rest of her fleet. So we're going to have to hope... Hope that I can sort of outlast them. I can outspeed them. And then I might cut across and do some damage to the sails of the Mashuda, slowing her down. Turn to port a little bit, otherwise your guns can't reach. New Amsterdam coming under fire from the Mashuda. Starboard side of this frig is almost gone. They're flooding. Let's add to their troubles a bit more. Oh, now you're getting shot in the stern. It's just going to rake the ship with fire. New Amsterdam exchanging fire with the Mishuda. Starboard side of the Chingaver is gone. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. I'm sorry, my Turkish is terrible. Starboard side completely eliminated, doing massive amounts of structural integrity damage to this frigate. Yeah, she seems to be listing to starboard pretty severely. I'm surprised that the rest of their fleet is not joining in with this action. It's like they're just sending out their flagship, but I don't know why. It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. You would want to be, at least in my mind, ideally supporting your flagship, not just letting it go off and do its own thing. Come on, wipe it out. That should do it. Yeah, she's gone. New target. The Mashuda. The Mashuda is coming alongside. Oh boy. What do you want? Well, I have an idea what you want, and if it's going to be boarding, then the Chesapeake is very much uninterested in that premise. Turn to port. I need the guns off the United States on the Mashuda. Quickly. Oh, they're going to take on survivors. It's going to make it even more difficult to try and board this ship if I was planning that in the first place. Formation 3. Move. Best speed. New Amsterdam, pepper the stern of that ship. Same for you. Oh, look at that. Just bypassing all the armor. And they're dead in the water because they're trying to take on survivors. Which is the honorable thing to do, but in this case, under this much fire, it might not be the right thing to do. 
Because you can either pick up the survivors and all die, or you can just leave them and have some of them die. Although at this rate, this thing is going to be sinking regardless. The Chesapeake, however, seems to have taken a pretty serious beating to the port side of the ship. Let's have her disengage, or at least bring her starboard side over. Shooters losing survivors. Where's the rest? What are you all doing here? Are they having some sort of huddle? This is, this thing is slowly drifting in reverse. Okay. Seems to have lost part of its sails too. The bow... Bow thing's gone. Constellation also trying to pick a fight with the Mashuda. Mashuda has taken on the survivors. Oh shit, the Chesapeake is now showing her stern. Need to make away from this ship quickly. Uh, United States, come to starboard. Uh oh. Well, you should be able to survive that. New Amsterdam port turn. Keep putting pressure on the Mashuda. She is wavering. Look at that range, though. Damn, she's hitting the New York from over there. You have some pretty impressive firepower. Slow them down. Let's do some damage to their sails. Starboard side, free to fire. In this case, I think it's more useful to fire chain shot and do some damage to their sails than try to do damage to the port side, because the port side is completely unharmed. That means I'm just going to have to put in a whole lot of effort to try and do damage to the port side. Which way are you going to turn? Because you seem to be pretty boxed in. Jeez, she's doing a lot of damage to the United States now. Come on, people. Box her in and blow her out of the water. In the meanwhile, the other fleet, or the other task force, is coming in. Ah, uh, we can take those. Full ahead flank. This thing really has a ton of guns. Look at the starboard side of the United States. And she's getting peppered from every which way. Oof. She's flooding. I'm getting really concerned about what is happening here. Exactly as I would want. Her starboard side took a big beating. Morale's still good enough. These things are going to collide. Unless the Mashuda turns to port. But a ship that big probably doesn't turn very well. Pumps her out, or at least damaged. Ah, the United States is now exchanging fire. Oh, sorry, the New York, not the United States. Uh, Essex, hold your fire. Enterprise, hold your fire. Anthony, hold your fire. Unless otherwise directed. You can keep putting pressure on, ideally, the damaged ship. So let's see if I can select that one as a target. The more interesting thing is happening here. Unfortunately, none of my ships really have the numbers to try and board her. But considering her damaged starboard side, I might be able to put a couple of grape shots through her side. Mm. 
No Amsterdam, turn to port. Box her in. Port side on the Constitution is just about ready to make a large amount of damage to the crew. At least one would expect so. Yeah, they're down to 667. The new Amsterdam has the most crew on all of my ships here. So if I want to board her and capture her, it would have to be with the United with the, the New Amsterdam. Out of 663, 66, 650, 653. Very good. I'm trying to expressly snipe this ship. And wait for my Carinate frigates to come into range. Uh, let's just cut through their formation, use the starboard battery of the New York against the frigate... Sorry, ship of the line that's pushing out there. What? She surrendered? Okay. Board that thing. High speed. Drop anchor. She surrendered? Wow. That's unexpected. I mean, I know that she was not doing terribly well, but surrendering? There we are. This thing is taking the beating that I want her to take. Artillery shock. And now the new Amsterdam is also going to land a hand with the rest of the formation. Hold your starboard. Loose. Fire all starboard. Right through the stern. Look at that. Massive damage. Massive damage. Essex, we're going to cut through. New York, just badgering ships left and right. Beautiful. Uh, Enterprise. Oh, you seem to have some problems there. I don't think that she's going to live very long. It's too long a range. Come on, gentlemen. Wait. She unsurrendered. Fuck. We're not done yet. Not sure if unsurrendering is now a thing, but... Let's just say that it is. Essex, starboard side, let loose. Never mind. Wait for the group. Yeah, about that. Enterprise, follow in with the Essex. Anthony, follow in with the Enterprise. We need to have another stern talking to with the Mashuda. Also, I think that the boarding party from the Constellation has been killed. Because they're not here anymore. Damn, I thought I had her. I really thought I had her. Essex? Prepare to party. Port side. Fire. Carinades, short range. That's what I'm talking about. That's the level of damage I seek. Okay, so this thing's gone. The Hazat, sorry, the Gazat is taking a ton of damage. And she's wavering. Mashuda is still wavering. She has a broken rudder. I think that the Iskenderia is currently stopped to pick up survivors. But she's not going to be stopped for a whole lot longer. United States still trying to do damage against the Mashuda. Chesapeake's disengaging, that's good, because she took a load of damage. Starboard turn, New Amsterdam, we still need to do damage to the Mashuda, she's still not dead yet. Essex continuing to massacre any... <laughs> any crew members that move aboard this ship. Let's just go with the grape shot. Actually, no, her starboard side isn't damaged enough. Have fun. Okay, 
Artillery shock. Oh, don't drop that on me. The Gazat and the Mashuda are having a run in. Oh, the Mashuda is about to sink. Structural integrity is gone. Enterprise is still holding fire. She doesn't really have anything to shoot at yet. United States, move. The New York has done a fuckload of damage against both of these ships. Really happy with her performance. Come on, Mashuda. Give it up. Yeah, she's gone. There's their flagship. Eliminate it. Chesapeake has successfully retreated. Excellent. Uh, that means that they have the Gazat, the Kaplan Basli, and over here the heavily wounded Eskandrie. Sorry, Iskenderie. And she is about to take another serious beating from the United States and from the New York. I just have to be careful not to have through and throughs and inflict friendly fire, which never is. Okay. So that means that you're waiting for your survivors. Open fire. Enterprise, port side. Before you take artillery shock. That was pretty inaccurate. Oh, look at that. That's what we do with your flagship if we encounter it. Damn pirates. This one has also sunk. And the Kaplan Basley has just surrendered. Oh. Um, I suppose the Anthony can drop off crew and take it over. Unless we very quickly sink the Iskandria and make sure that the ship gets captured automatically. This actually felt like a really smooth battle. Which is something I'm surprised about. Because I thought, okay, second rate ship of the line. This is going to get rough. But so far, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Shooting right through the bow. Yeah, she's done for. Which is really unfortunate for the survivors here, because now they really have nowhere to go. There she are. It was there she are, there she is. Oh, you woke up, didn't you? Anthony, new mission. Short range blast against this ship. She picked up a ton of survivors there. Uh, New York, I need you to do damage. Anthony, I need you to hasten away from the fight here. Because the New York is about to let loose. Currently doing a bit of damage against the survivors here, which... I'm not even sure where they're hoping to go. Essex, starboard side. Kaplan Basri, sorry, Basley flooding. Come on. New York's about to finish her off. Almost. Hard to starboard. Come about. Let's have the Anthony disengage. The Essex is too far away to be useful at this point. Look at the New York just turn hard to starboard like that. Beautiful. And another salvo goes right into the Kaplan-Basley. 
crippling the ship, or whatever's left of her. Which isn't that much to begin with. And I can just sort of park in front of the ship and just continue to harass it. She seems to be dead. Job done. So, ships sent in, nine. Enemy ships, six. I came in with <laughs> with almost double the crew uh, and substantially more guns. I didn't lose any ship. I did lose quite a bit of crew, but not nearly as much as they did. Barbary States Conqueror. Very good. All right. I think that that's going to conclude the story. Or is it? Let's just repair these ships. Recruit them where needed. Repair. Upgrade. Repair. There. And then the Enterprise. Very, very little required. Okay, so. Award. The Navy Cross is the highest award the Navy can bestow upon members of the sea services and awarded to individuals who exhibited extraordinary heroism in the performance of their duties in action against enemies hostile to the colonies. I think that's a perfect ending for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry to see it go, but it just does not get the views. And in a situation like that, I have to make the hard choice and go, nope, sorry, it's, it's not performing well enough and I'm going to have to axe it. Nevertheless, there will be other videos, hopefully more suited to your liking. Um, I'm going to be streaming a bit every now and then. And I'm considering streaming and or making videos out of RimWorld. If you want to vote on what other game I should be covering, head over to my Patreon. Link down below in the description. And there you can join the votes and the discussion on what other games would be very suitable for my channel and what you would like to see. Thank you for watching this series. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope the pirates in the Mediterranean are going to stay put for the moment and that the United States has shown how much it can control these waters. Thank you for watching. I shall see you soon for another video.